is in. Well, when they get anywhere near that line, they are power packed. Fluency. Also, great credit, Nicky Little's kickoff, the chase by the Fijians, and the prop forward work. Rilomo did brilliantly, got them on the front foot. Canada against a team at pace, struggling there. Rwanga there, beautiful offload. Rotuvu, first of all, there's lovely rhythm between backs and forwards, and you talked about the power. Rotuvu, he's threatened twice. On the third time, he is not stopped. But again, when Fiji pick up the pace, when they really inject it and they keep the ball only two or three phases, Canada look ragged. If they could hold the ball and maintain the pace, this could be quite exciting second half. Fiji really rattling into some gear now. Two tries and can Little now add two points. With Fiji a lead, they'll be pretty happy with it. the half hour mark. And they will know that when they get in the 22. Tries are looking likely. It's going to be close. Oh, so close it hits the wood. Disappointment for Little. Stays at 15 6, but general encouragement for Fiji. I think when Fiji trusts their instinct, they look a class apart. They look at that from Rwanga. Step in and balance. The offload, superb inter interaction there between backs and forwards. And Rotuvu, he's so strong as well. The body angle is excellent. Drive through for the score. No, that's fine. That would have Rwanga, who scored a try on this ground against Wales. Memorable Stay score. No, when Fiji got close wait. a couple of years ago. Wait, Fiji, wait. If they can win this, as you said, they'll have Wales in their sights. Don't forget, coming up, we have uh, more rugby today on ITV4, Samoa against Tonga, kicking off at 3 o'clock from Montpellier. And then France will play Namibia tonight, also on ITV4, and that is from 7.30. Total hash of that. Oh, that is annoying. Uh, Tony Sprogby said, Do you want the free kick? William said yes, and he was so anxious to turn a, a possibility into something rather more that he just lost control there. Over eager, uh, and that's from the captain. And we'll be disappointed with that right. because Fiji having a scrum in Canadian territory right. looked and dangerous. Canada there don't want now. to make errors near their own line, that's for sure. Williams also in danger of coming round offside there with the ball still in the scrum, but the referee uh, was happy with the Canadian scrum half. And in fact, in consultation with the touch judge, gives the penalty award to Canada. Well, Morgan Williams more than made up for his error there, didn't he, with a knock on? Excellent scrambling work around the base of the scrum, earned his team a penalty. Good work. And you can see the captain working really hard there, along with his back rower, Jamie Cudmore, wrapping up the Fijians, earning the penalty. Cudmore down, yeah. He plays with Clermont Auvergne, he's been with Grenoble, and we said before, Thanethley too. So an article... Uh, about him this week when he said that rugby had saved his life he was a bit of a bad boy in his youth what did he do well, stay um, out there, okay? now's well, not stay the out. time and place oh tantalize me tell me later felt that blow though from Fijian didn't he and Canada well they need a bit of attitude at the moment to get into this game just for uh, like this he would have got on with you <laughs> Little's kick as far as Mike Pike. It's poor. Brown Looney inside his 22, but not finding touch anyway. 
D DTH van der Merwe. He's got pace, isn't he? Quick off the mark. Judge puts his flag up, but there's a threat there with uh, Van der Merwe and also Pritchard, who uh, has got that sort of scuttling style of running too. Yeah, the only problem is that you can be as quick as you like if you start running towards touch against blokes the size of Delasau and Co. Then you really are in problem. And the trouble is there, he's quick, but even Jews, the loose head prop, is able to push him towards touch. You've got to stay off that touch line, and it doesn't matter how quick you are. You dance and move towards it, then you're going to give the ball away, and that's what happened. Go on, get out of the way. at the tail of the line out. Gloucester fans will be uh, watching him. Signing at King's home. And there he is from the Merva. Again, he's close to the touchline. This time, though, where? Exactly where that white right line was. Smith. Through the middle, Sean Michael Stephen will of course chase, he chases everything, so too Cudmore. But Raul Looney is strong, and his chunky thighs. Nebua. <laughs> Pretty big legs himself, hasn't he? Stay under, go back, go back. That's like what? Graham Benny. Mike Pike to charge onto this. Try and work That's his right. way through the. Uh, Bodies in front of him. Williams. Spicer. Little. The space opening up here around the field. Game breaking oh, up a back, bit. Nine, go back, right back. Stay still in. Sense still that in. will suit Fiji if they have the courage to play. They can do it from deep. Raluni. De La Salle. Raluni again sees once more that it might be on. Vieira, oh, good tackling by Pritchard. <laughs> Nothing you can do without your legs, even when they are big legs. Vieira, another giant of a player that can cover the ground so quickly. But good tackling back from James Pritchard. Come off, please. Both hookers, please. Both yeah, you have to go very low against these big that ball in field. As Tony Spreadbury talks to the men in the middle of the front row, the two hookers. On your own ball, you're taking both of you a real long time to get it in. OK, please speed that up. Thank you, thank you. Time off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put your clock on Reardon now, Miles. Let's go! <laughs> or even Koto. It was quicker. Raul Looney. He used to fight for the oh, same ready, spot at Saracens ready, with Morgan Williams when Williams was there. Williams now with Albi in France. And Williams looking to help here from his winger to take the catch, and Pritchard does. But that's fine work from Fiji. But they go over the top, don't stay on their feet initially. Was going to win the ball, but in the end, it concedes the penalty. The initial power and pace and drive was excellent, but then they just couldn't stay on the feet. Just as well for Canada, because that could have been killer turnover ball. There's no doubt the last 15 minutes, this game, you said it, it's opened up a little bit, and I think that is definitely suiting Fiji. A good take from Pritch Pritchard there, and again, the athleticism of Ungera there, the open side, he's as fast as any centre chasing a kick. A notable athlete indeed. 16 tries last season for the Potemps Bees, otherwise known as Birmingham Solihull, in the English game. Caught the eye of Gloucester. Get out of there! Leave it with that take, one of the try scorers in this first half. Otuvu the other, Little the kicker here. And here's Pritchard again. Raluni. Ratuvu. The look of him at fullback. He's had a good game, hasn't he? One Saracen to the other there. I think Raluni as well has got 
increasingly influential as this game has gone on and he's controlling the game, playing with a little bit of balance to it. And Rotuvu, yes, very dangerous. And there's also signs that I think De La Sao is much more in the mood today than he was against Japan Wednesday. Rotuvu has been playing a bit fullback by uh, Saracen on, before, but mainly as a winger. Yeah. Yeah. Vantage, Vantage! Going against Graham Hughes, a super born prop who uh, actually grew up and plays uh, in New Zealand. Pritchard has to leave his post on the wing to take those kicks, but that is why he's very good at them. That's a very good kick, right footed boot down there. He had no angle, and he's got within 15 meters or so of the line. And the way Canada are playing, they need to be short-range to score tries because Fiji, they can blast out from anywhere. Canada looking to structure scores here. It's better. Again, it's a Shawn Michael Stephen, and again, Canada come round in the shape of Rod Snow. Just before half-time, as they look to up their play to get this score, and just as they do that, it's the knock-on in midfield. But again, Fiji, with their sheer weight of tackling, causing the error, causing the Canadians to get flustered in attack. Ah, it's a poor pass, though, isn't it, from Morgan Williams there, behind, over Cudmore's shoulder. I think the captain would be very disappointed with that. Tackling hard, but, I mean, Canada still had very good ball there. But they realise they have to uh, shift in those situations because that Fijian line is up very quickly. Oh, they're coming fast, but your scrum half just can't pass like that in that position. That was a great position blown. Sure. the first collapse, and I was looking... Number one needs to be straight. All right, you. All right. Like, that's okay. I didn't, I didn't give a penalty. Steady. Thank you. Locks in. Right. Touch. Pause. Engage. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Gone. Second move. Red move. Brought away by Kaya Mayomboli, the uh, Fijian number eight. Here comes Pike. Thought about the drop goal. Just gets it on the boot in the end, and Thundermurva. The whistle's gone now. Didn't think the whistle was going to go from Tony Spreadrick. Shouted advantage, didn't he? He was half thinking, did he actually kick that or did he lose it? And it's the knock on there, you can see it is. Crowd booing. Tony Spreadrick absolutely right. So a little bit of a let-off there for Fiji as we go towards half-time. You'd say this first half is pretty much as we'd expected. Lots of endeavour and organisation from Canada, but the cutting edge and the penetration from Fiji. You do believe if Fiji trust themselves, this game is there for them to win. But Canada, very determined and organised, well in it at the moment. Disruption caused, though, at the scrum. And the Canadians will get one last chance before the interval to close this gap. Still very much a contest, this. Oh, yeah. But Canada definitely need to be playing from 30, 35 metres, don't they? Fiji have that ability to just go in the flash. Canada looking to work something. Much more of a contest if... There's a score from this move. Williams, the call was from Smith to come this way, and Ryan Smith is trying to go through, and uh, Mike Pike was almost arriving on his shoulder there. And had he done so, he could have been through. Burak, nice central position, they can work it either way. Williams goes left, finds Spicer. Thundermurva needs to get away from that touchline. It's not his friend, it's the friend of the uh, Fijian defence. Williams to Michael, Sean Michael Stephen, he's dropped that. And that should be half-time. Get off, get off it, get off it. Get off it, get off it. Now, old vintage Fijis would tap and go, but this one is... Trying to be more organised, and I think they're going to kick it off and take the 15-6 lead at half-time. Two tries, halfway to a bonus point. Fiji probably fairly content. Two goes. Two attempts, all right, please. Time's all up, 
Jeremy Cutmore was being a bad boy again. This time on the rugby field. <laughs> Little puts the ball off the field and we go in at half-time with Fiji leading by 15 points to six, having scored the two.